Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 and my fellow beer taster John and this is beer review number 65. Today we're going to be reviewing a chili beer. This is the Cave Creek Original Chili Beer. Now let me read you a little bit about the company and about the beer. Uh, the Cave Creek Chili Beer, the only beer in the world with a whole chili pepper in every bottle. Yeah, and it does have a chili pepper in the bottle. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And uh, I will not be eating the chili pepper. <laughs> the original Cave Creek Chili Beer was created by Crazy Ed Chili Chilean. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Crazy Ed Chilean in 1992. The beer was brewed and bottled in his microbrewery located in Cave Creek, Arizona until demand for the product outstripped the production capacity of the brewery. Ed and the brewery crew continued to bottle chili beer for local consumption at the Cave Creek location, but farmed out worldwide demand to a larger brewery. Over the years, chili beer has been brewed and bottled in at least four different breweries, and finally in 2006, Ed moved the brand to Cervecera Mexicana in Tecate, Mexico. In 2009, Ed transferred the rights to the brand to the group who owned the brewery and was retained as the spokesperson and founder, a job he still does today from his home in Puerto Perfiasco, Mexico. Cave Creek Chili Beer is now distributed in 23 states plus the UK, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea. Crazy Ed is still alive and kicking, selling chili beer hot sauce. And give you much information about the beer itself other than the alcohol by volume is 4.2%. So, you got a good look at the, the bottle and the label. Alright, let's pop this thing with the K-Bar. Just where I wanted it. Okay. One of us is probably going to get that <laughs> in the. Oh, maybe not. Uh, let's see if I can get that out of there. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. Right. There you go, John. <laughs> you get the honor of the chili. All righty. Got about a finger of white head. It's got plenty of carbonation, plenty of bubbles in here. And the color is a very light golden straw color. And I'm sure you can see that and you can probably see the bubbles coming up. And uh, yeah, we're not doing the flashlight thing through here. After looking at so many of them, I decided it really wasn't helpful. <laughs> couldn't really get a good idea of the color so we're doing this from now on and the head has pretty much dissipated so come on around John <laughs> if you want to fish out the, no, it can, the chili it can stay okay <laughs> all right well let's uh, have a smell hmm hmm Is that the hops? I'm not sure. I smell. I smell a, a pilsner type smell. Mm -hmm. A little chili smell, but not much. And I smell um, an almost citrusy, lime like smell. Even though I noticed on the website they had they had a big banner on on this thing. That, that said, we don't need no stinking lime. 
Uh -huh. So I'm assuming they didn't add any lime to it. So I don't know why it would smell like lime other than maybe whatever hops they use. It doesn't smell hot. Mm -hmm. So let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's all over the place. Wow. And it does have a little heat. Oh, it has some heat. heat. Oh, yes. Going down the throat. Yeah. It has the heat. Hmm. It has a, it has a light citrusy taste. Yep. Yeah. And it has the heat. <laughs> if you're stopped up, you won't be long. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's not flaming volcano out the mouth heat, more like simmering volcano under the surface heat. <laughs> uh, after, best after, way I could describe. Yeah, after the first swallow, it's not not as predominant, but it's, it's quite, there. But it's, it's there. It's definitely there on the tongue and, and on the back of the throat. Yeah, uh, you know it's a chili beer, what? but I don't taste any chili taste. You know, like you would taste with a jalapeno. Right. I, know it's a, you know, I don't taste that chili taste. I taste a light Pilsner, uh, citrusy type of flavor. Yeah. With a little heat. And heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this did, did we say that there's some heat, heat in is, this? Just so you know. It's different. If you're having a good bowl of chili with this, now nah, you got it. Now I'll say this, this is head and shoulders above that one chili beer we tried, I guess it was last year. Yeah. That really sucked big time. It was bad. Okay. If you're into chili beers, this was this would be a good one. Yeah. I'm not really into chili beers, but this one ain't half bad. I don't think that I would buy any more, just because I'm not I'm not a chili head. You know, yeah. I like a little heat in some things, but I'm not a big chili head, so I, I I prefer not to have it in my beer. But if I was going to drink a chili beer, so far of the two that we've tried, this is the one I would go for. Yeah. Not picking out anything else other than what we said. Mm -hmm. so, and I will give it a thumbs up. As a chili beer, I will give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Uh, it, it is very light. It, it, it is kind of refreshing in a way. Um, it's still probably not what I'd want to drink on a hot day after no. <laughs> <I'm> mowing <laughs> the lawn, but you know, it, it has a lighter taste than I expected. Um, and it has some heat. Did we say that? I, I don't know. I just want to <laughs> just make sure we got that out. It has some heat. So anyway, that is the Cave Creek Original Chili Beer. Yeah, if you're if you're into chili beers, you might want to give this one a try. That takes care of beer review number 65, and we're fixing to do beer review number 66 here in just a few moments. So I hope that you'll join us for that. This is SpecOps 56 and John Toe saying enjoy your beer and this one has a little heat. <laughs>